Hello, Lego fans. It's Bricks on a Budget coming to you with another video. Don't mind the music in the background. My kid's watching a cartoon. So, but I just really figured I would give you guys a little bit of a teaser of something I've been working on. And I'm going to use my 332nd uh, heavies to show off some of this. And uh, this I'm not really completely sold on, but this is my attempt at a rocket launcher. Very, very simple. Um, simple design. And it's completely built out of uh, existing Lego. So, uh, I don't know. It looks a little too long, quite frankly. Or maybe it feels like it's missing something. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, pretty interesting for the most part. You know, it's passable in my opinion, but um, still I feel like I want to tweak it. This I worked really hard on, and I think it turned out pretty decently. And this is my heavy flamethrower unit. And uh, pretty simple design, kind of similar to the rocket launcher. Um, but I did use a... Uh, a bit of a brick there to turn on have this little uh, slope here kind of as a uh, mobile uh, flame canister or uh, canister to fuel the flamethrower. I'm also thinking about as, as an alternative taking that off and then building a uh, backpack on his back basically and then have a hose come forward and connect to it. I think that would look really, really interesting. But I think, you know, I think uh, the flamethrower in particular turned out very, very well and uh, is my favorite out of my three builds. Um, this one is a pretty simple build. Um, these, this centerpiece right here is a little harder to come by. Um, actually, I should probably put this in his other hand so that way that sight would make a little bit more sense because right now it's kind of on his uh, other side of his head so that doesn't really make a lot of sense there so in his other hand it would have made more sense but um, in my mind this is maybe a uh, EMP launcher of some sort you can shoot it either at uh, Federation droids or uh, even vehicles to disable them perhaps from a, from a decent amount of distance away uh, this could be very very devastating but yeah, um, I thought it looked I thought it looked pretty cool, and I just added a couple cylinders, one on the end and one on the front, to make it look a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so that's my ideas, a couple of my ideas at any rate for some heavy weapons built by um, just combining some oddball parts. Like they're all very very simple builds. If you would like to. Um, for me to break them down to the parts and show you how I built them. Uh, just leave a like and uh, please leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do that. I could do a separate video for that. Um, like I said, they're not really complicated. Um, but also, uh, I'm going to continue to work on some other ideas and stuff. And I might even tweak all these ideas even a little bit more and show them off in another video if I decide that it's worthy of actually even bothering to post it. Um, like I said, the rocket launcher looks a little goofy. I don't know. It just looks a little oversized for my opinion, but, uh, yeah, I figured I would share this and also, um, get a better look at my 332nd, uh, heavies as well. Look at that. Those beautiful waistcoats on there from Cape Cantina. Very, very beautiful. And then of course they have the, uh, chest strap also from Cape Cantina. You can kind of see the shoulder pauldron a little bit better on this one. Um, so that really spiced up my my heavy 332 seconds. Uh, and then I spiced them up a little bit more with some uh, brick built weapons, you know, just uh, just messing around, having fun. I figured I would turn around and share this with you. And I will share the next one with you guys. Uh, if and when I come up with some decent enough ideas, like I said, to share. So, so that being said, I think I'm going to end it right here. And please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.